Tell the devil that you have a concealed weapon. Because in my heart have I hid your word. Tell him you got to open and carry. Hallelujah. There is power in the gospel of Jesus Christ. Somebody help me here. Tell the devil you lock and load it. Hallelujah, somebody. Worship him. You gotta know how to worship him. 
Amen. 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 And then you have to know why you worship him. I will is somebody. He makes it clear. And I, and I was reading, he makes it clear. This is 20. You get down somewhere around verse 7, I think it is. And yeah, I'll take my turn. Yeah. In verse, in verse 1, you know, he's the, verse 7, I'm sorry. In, verse, in chapter 20, the best is, Thou shalt not take the name of the Lord, thou God, in vain. Amen? Amen. Of the Lord thy God, in vain. For the Lord will not hold him guiltless that take his name in vain. That's how you worship him. And if you back it up, you look down in verse, look up in verse 3, Thou shalt have. Somebody gonna help me here? And you see how you got to spell small g o d. Then you got an s on it. And how many of us? How many of us know that we have one and only one true and living God? But look how he clarified it. People of God, you better understand this. He clarified the fact. First of all, there is only one. Amen. Somebody. Uh, there is only one God. There is no other God. And then God, God didn't even have to. God was to me, to have my heavenly father with all due respect, God was being sarcastic there. Because he knew of any, of anything, of anybody that knows better, he knew he was the only God. But he, he wanted us to understand that we have other gods in our lives. So he came out and got sarcastic. He said, you shall have no other God. Amen? He, 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 he said, now shall have no other God before me. You know, because God is not foolish. He understands the fact that not only will you have him, but you will have other gods. God, God, God understands. God understands that we not always be holy. God understands that we not always be church people. Hallelujah, somebody. Because we're supposed to walk out of church, we're ready to shake our tail. This is, this is, this is the right music got to come on. Somebody help me here. He's a good God. And he said, 
anywhere and never seen it. The Bible says no man has seen God and lived. Hallelujah, somebody. Am I right? He said, I don't want you to do it in the first way. It's foolish to do it because you ain't never seen me. Come on. In the second place, when you worship that image, you're not worshiping me. Right. Yeah. common sense will tell you if you never seen me and you make an image and you worship that image, you're not worshiping me. Right. Right. Thou shalt not make unto thee any graven image or any likeness of anything that's in heaven above. God telling you, not only should you not make an image of me, don't you make no image of anything that's in heaven. Because you ain't never been there. Hallelujah, somebody. I know John saw hair wool. I know he saw fiery eyes. Come on, somebody. And I know he spoke with many waters. Amen. But John was so caught up. And he, he, he didn't know. Let me tell you something. You haven't got you have to get closer you get to God. When you feel the presence and the power of God, when God moves in your spirit and you start shouting and speaking in tongues and falling and praising God, and somebody say, baby, describe how you feel. You're going to do the best that you can. That's what John would John say, man, I saw him. And the best thing is his hair looked like wool. Help me somebody. His eyes as fire because fire cleans you up. John said, when I look at his eyes, his eyes pierce my soul and his face eyes clean me up. And when he opened his mouth, there was so much power that it sounded like many waters. Hallelujah. Did I throw you off? Huh? That's who he is. And you know what? Worship him without seeing him. Because God is a spirit. Did I lose him? You better get on the way. Hallelujah, somebody. Huh? God is a spirit. You can't see him. You can't touch him. But you know he's there. Y'all need to hear me? Hallelujah, somebody. He's there in your spirit. He's there when you lay down at night. He's there when you get up in the morning. He's there when you walk out the door. He's there when you get in your car. He's there when you get to your destination. God is everywhere. Ain't you know something? Sometimes you feel his hands. Hallelujah. On you. Him. Yeah.